And we're going to continue with our next question. And our next question is from Unireen. Okay. Now, I assume she asked me to answer question 2.2. Because unfortunately, I don't have the diagram for 2.1.7 and 2.1.8. Now, if you look at question 2.2, Unireen asked this question. It's basically choose give one term for each of the following descriptions by choosing a term from the list below. Write only the term next to the question number. Now, let's just quickly have a look at the term. I'm not going to go and look at the description. Yeah. Because I want to know what we're dealing with over here. With what? What topic do we, are we dealing with here? And if I can explain it, but you need to know, because this is short answer questions. They might ask you this in longer asking questions as well, like paragraph questions. So first of all, they're asking immediately I can identify geomorphology. Okay. Fluvial geomorphology. Why? Because we're talking about river sources over here, we're talking about the water table, we're talking about confluence, interfluve, river mouth, surface runoff. Interesting, we discussed this question a little bit earlier. Okay. And groundwater and drainage basin. So what we're dealing with over here, we're dealing with fluvial geomorphology. Okay. Now, Unireen, before I'm going to answer this question, because it's straightforward, I need to explain this to you. And when you open your textbook regarding this topic, your first topic is going to be heading, it's going to be drainage space. Okay. Now, let me quickly explain drainage basins. What is drainage basins? It's an area that's drained by a river and its tributaries. Okay, that's the concept of it. Okay, I'm going to write it down. Area drained by a river system and its tributaries. Okay. Now that's the definition for a drainage basin. Now let's just quickly draw a drainage basin. Now I'm going to explain a lot of nice things for you too, but just with this drawing. Okay, there's the main river. Now remember, a river always starts from the source. And eventually when it flows into the ocean, that's known as the mouth. Now, that's a river. It starts from a source and it ends in the mouth where it flows into the ocean. Not necessarily the ocean, it might be a lake as well. Okay. But the source is where it originates, usually from a high laying area such as mountains. I'm going to use the Tugela River as an example. Okay. Tugela originates from the Drakensberg Mountains. It's a small stream. Okay, from, from the mountains, from a fountain, it originates. And eventually when it flows into the ocean, it's a massive river, almost half a kilometer wide. Okay, massive. Now, first of all, this is a, what separates one drainage basin from another. It's usually a high laying area, and I'm going to indicate it with an excess area. It's a high laying area. A high laying area might be mountains, might be escarpment. Okay? So it separates one drainage basin from another. So there might be another drainage basin over there. This high laying area that separates this drainage basin from that one over there, from this one to that one, this high laying area is known as a, I'm going to use my green color pen, this highlighting area is known as a water shed. Okay, that's the definition of it. 
The watershed is the high-laying area separating one drainage basin from another. Okay. Now, coming back to my Tugela River. Now, remember, other rivers start joining this river. Okay. Many other rivers. Eventually, as the river starts to move down to the ocean. For instance, it might be the Unkumas, etc. Okay, many other rivers joining this other rivers. And these other rivers joining the main river is known as tributaries. Okay. So the other rivers, all of these are known as tributaries. Okay. Now where these rivers meet, for instance, I'm just going to make a small yellow circle. Okay, where the one river meets the other river, it's known as confluence. Okay, so what do we have here? The river starts from its source and it ends up in the ocean or lake, the mouth. What separates one drainage basin from another is known as the watershed. Okay. Then the other rivers joining the main river is known as tributaries. Where the rivers meet is known as confluence. Okay. So that's some of the concepts that we've mentioned in that question. But we need to add a little bit more. Let's have a look at it. Use a different color pen. Let's see what color can we use. Let's use purple, light purple. Now, very similar, we got high laying areas separating tributaries from one another. Okay. Now keep in mind, the watershed separates one drainage basin from another. The high laying area separating one tributary from another tributary is known as an interflue. Okay, for instance, this area over here, high laying area, known as an interflue. Okay, so this is basically in rough our drainage basin. It consists of this river, origins of the river, the source to the mouth, separated by a watershed, it's represented in green. The other rivers joining the main river is known as tributaries. Where the rivers join up, it's known as confluence. Okay. The high laying area separating the tributaries is known as the interfluve in purple. So what we have here is a beautiful indication of a drainage basin. Now, keep in mind, in this drainage basin, and we discussed it with the previous question. Someone asked it. I can't remember who asked it. Let me just have a look quickly. Um, yes, Katlejo asked about direct and indirect runoff. Surface runoff, ground runoff. Okay. So in this drainage basin that you see in front of you over here, the water flows, as you can see, the tributaries and the main river is going to be surface runoff because the water flows on top of the surface. Am I correct? You can actually see the water. It's a visual aspect. You can see the water. But keep in mind, there's also indirect runoff. We looked at these factors that we discussed. Okay. Now, before I'm going to continue with your questions, uh, Unireen, let's just go, I just want to do stream order with you guys and explain that to you before I answer that question. Now, when we look at the river, I'm just going to draw a drainage basin over here. We look at stream ordering. And we determine what stream order a drainage basin is. And that depends on the number of tributaries. Okay. Now, the formula goes as such. Uh, what, one stream order plus another stream order equals a second stream order. Okay. A second stream order plus a second stream order equals a third stream order. Okay. Now, a third stream order plus a third stream order equals a fourth stream order. Now, remember, a two 
a second stream order plus a third stream order is going to stay a third. It can't go over. Let me quickly explain to you. So if you look at stream ordering, I just want to explain it to you. So this is one stream playing from there to there. That's one. There's another first stream order playing from there to there. Before confluence takes place, before the one river joins the other river, that's a stream order. Okay. So from there to there is a stream order. So there's another stream order. Now look at my formula. The first, one stream order plus a second, one stream order gives me a second stream order. One plus a one gives me a two. Now over here we have a one and a two. What's going to happen? It can't change us. It's going to stay a second stream order. And what do we have over here? We have a first stream order and a first stream order. Where the two first order streams meet, it's a second stream order. This is a first stream order, only a single stream. A second plus a first stays a second. Am I correct? Now what happens? Look at my formula. A second and a second turns into a third stream order. Okay. A once, there's one stream order, there's a, another first stream order, it makes a second. So a third and a second, it can't be turned into a fourth, it stays a third. Okay, so that where the confluence takes place, it's a third stream order. Okay, first and the first stream order is a second stream order. A third and a second stays a third. Okay. There's a first stream order with another first stream order. It becomes a second stream order by looking at my formula. A second and a first stream order stays a third string order. First and the first is a second because it happens before the confluence. A second and a third stays a third. So what do we know about this drainage basin that I've drawn? It's a third order stream basin. Okay, so I've explained that as well. But let's quickly go and have a look at our questions. Okay, so we discussed our drainage basin, area drained by a river system and its tributaries, the watershed separates it, confluence and tributaries, etc. Okay, if you look at question 2.2.2, .2 .2 .2, point where the river enters the sea so that can be sea or it can be lake and we looked at that what did we say it's the mouth let's just eliminate mouth from there or just write it down there there's it river mouth Water that has infiltrated the soil. So we discussed that with Katlejo's question. Surface runoff on top of the surface, or when it infiltrates, there's a correct answer. Groundwater. Excellent. An area drained by a main river and its tributaries. Have a look at that. There's the there's the, there's the definition, drainage basin, okay. Point where a river originates, I'm running out of time, so I'm, going, I'm not going to write it. There's the correct answer, river source, the upper level of the saturation zone is known as the water table, okay. The water flowing over land after it has rained, we discussed it with our previous question, surface runoff. Okay, the water is on top of the surface. Okay. Then, point where a tributary meets the main river. Okay, we look at that. We look over here. Where it meets the main river, as you can see, confluence taking place. Great Charles, this is all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining in.
Um, next week, we're going to concentrate on all question papers. Like I said to you before, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it will, nothing will prepare you better than all question papers, fast question papers for your final exam. <laughs>